So hi everyone and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to another session of PIB 247 where we are going to discuss some more questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams especially for the upcoming RBI grade B exam. All right. So let's begin with the session and let's talk about the very first question and guys remember there are 10 questions there are 10 very important questions in today's session and all the questions are equally important so please pay attention to today's session so what is the very first question which of the following is the implementing agency for the pacer scheme pacer scheme ke baare mein aapko ek uh, jo pacer scheme ki implementing agency hai wo batani hai all right now the question is is it a new scheme no it is not a new scheme it is already under implementation by ministry of earth science then why we are discussing about it? We are discussing about it because a recent reply was submitted in parliament with respect to this scheme. All right. So let's talk about what is the news. Remember the Ministry of Earth Sciences, which is headed by Dr. Jitendra Singh, who is also the Minister of Science and Technology, is implementing the PACER initiative or the PACER scheme. And what is the full form? It is Polar Science and Cryosphere Research. Polar Science and Cryosphere Research. And remember, it is an umbrella program which includes various programs like Antarctic program, Indian Arctic program, Southern Ocean program, Cryosphere and Climate program. All these programs are under PACER scheme. All right. And remember the ministry, it is being implemented by the Ministry of Earth Science and not the Ministry of Science and Technology. All right. It was recently extended up to financial year 2026 and the implementing agency for the same is National Center for Polar and Ocean Research, which is located in Goa. Ye pe hai? Goa mein hai. Do remember this also. Where this center is located? It is in Goa. It is National Center for Polar and Ocean Research, which is the implementing agency for this particular scheme. Now you must be wondering ki kya itna hi padna hai, ya isse aur padna hai. Itna hi kafi hai. This is more than enough for this scheme because this scheme is not from your RBI grade B slavers, but yes. क्योंकि वो कहीं से भी क्वेश्चन पूछ लेते हैं तो यस इसके बारे में बेसिक आपको पता होना चाहिए एंड दिस मच इंफॉर्मेशन इज मोर देन इनफ फॉर द आरबी ग्रेड बी एग्जाम ऑलराइट एंड नबार्ड आल्सो सो नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन देन द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी व्हाट नेशनल सेंटर फॉर पोलर एंड ओशन रिसर्च व्हिच इज लोकेटेड इन गोवा ऑप्शन सी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर ऑलराइट सो नाउ लेट्स मूव अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 in the scaling project intended to upgrade the skill base of the Manrega beneficiaries thereby improving their livelihoods. Manrega beneficiaries who already Manrega se benefit le chuke hai, unke skill base ko improve karne ke liye this project is working and you have to identify the name of that project. Okay and remember again it is not a new project it is, it is already under implementation. Alright and the name of the project guys is Unnati project. It is Unnati project which works under MG Narega, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. Alright. So, what is Unnati project? So, we have discussed in the question already that it is a scaling project. It is a scaling project under Manrega to give benefit to the Manrega workers. Now, what type of benefit is this? Of course, it is a skill development project. It is intended towards upgrading the skill base of the Manrega beneficiaries so, so that their livelihoods can be enhanced. All right. It is also aimed at moving the beneficiaries from the current partial employment to full time employment and to reduce their dependency on the Manrega. Okay, Manrega ke upar unki dependency ko kam karna is also one of the objective of this project. All right. Remember under the project, the training is provided to one adult member per household and that adult member should be of the age group 18 to 45 years. Adult member hai, wo 18 se 45 ke ka and this adult member should have completed 100 years, uh, sorry, 100 days of work under Manrega. Okay? And also the candidate undergoing training under project Unnati are also entitled to get the compensation or you can say the stipend for a maximum period of 100 days. Compensation nahi bolenge, stipend is the right word. Unko stipend milta hai maximum kitne din ka 100 days. Ka. All right. So this is all about the project Unnati. Isse zyada padne ki zarurat nahi hai. So therefore, the correct answer will be what? Option B, Unnati. Unnati is the name of the project which works under the Manrega uh, to upskill the, the beneficiaries of Manrega. All right. Moving ahead to question number three. Very, very important question. 
Consider the following statements with respect to Export Preparedness Index 2021 and you have to identify the incorrect statement here. Now this index, Export Preparedness Index, it is the second edition. It is the second edition which has been launched by Niti Ayog and the first edition was launched last year. Okay, now the edition last year launched, now this is the second edition for the year 2021. So it has been released by Niti Ayog in partnership with Institute of Competitiveness. Do you remember this also? Institute of Competitiveness ke saath partner karke Niti Ayog ne isko release kiya hai and it is the second edition. Alright. Now what is the objective of this report? The object is ye report kyu nikali jati hai? So remember this is a comprehensive analysis of India's export achievements. India ke export achievement ke baare mein hume pata chalta hai is report se. Alright. Now these are some of the basic information about this report like this report is based on four pillars, which are policy, business ecosystem, export ecosystem and export performance. These are the four pillars. <clears throat> there are 11 sub pillars. There are 11 sub pillars of the index, which you do not have to remember. And total, there are 60 indicators. Okay. Total indicators, 60, 11 sub pillars and four pillars. You can remember the name of the pillars. From the name of the pillars, they can ask you a question. Which are the four pillars, policy, uh, business ecosystem, export ecosystem and export performance. These are the four pillars of this index. All right. Now talking about the performance of the states. So among the Himalayan states, so there are four categories of states and UTs which uh, ye ranking ki gai hai. Number one is the Himalayan state. Among the, all the Himalayan states, Uttarakhand is the best performer followed by Himachal Pradesh and Tripura. Among the coastal state, Gujarat is the best performer followed by Maharashtra and Karnataka. Among the landlocked state, it is Haryana, which is at number one, followed by UP and MP. And among all the UTs, it is Delhi, which is at the number one. Among the UTs, it is Delhi, followed by Goa and Jammu and Kashmir. These are the top three. So you should remember at least top three, looking at the uh, pattern of the examinations these days. Top three, to aapko pata hone hi among all the categories. Yes, among all the categories, top three, yaad karna zaruri hai. All right. So this was about this index and now let's come back to the question. You have to identify the incorrect statement. The index is based on four pillars and 60 indicators. Yes, this is absolutely correct. And there are 11 sub pillars also. Yara sub pillars bhi hai. Among Himalayan states, Uttarakhand has topped the index. Yes, this is absolutely correct. And among all the UTs, Delhi is at rank one followed by Goa. And uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Now you must be wondering Goa is not a UT, then why it is in this fourth category because fourth category includes city uh, UTs and city states. Jo chote states hai, wo bhi liye hai isme. All right. So all the statements are correct here, which means option D. None is incorrect should be the correct answer. I hope this question is clear. And now let's move ahead to question number four. With which of the following institutes Ministry of Rural Development, which is headed by Mr. Giriraj Singh. Giriraj Singh's Lok Sabha constituency is Begu Sarai, which is in Bihar, has signed an MOU to promote entrepreneurship at a local level amongst the rural youth by strengthening the startup village entrepreneurship program. So we have earlier all, uh, discussed this startup village entrepreneurship program. Aaj bhi discuss kar lenge thoda sa. So under this program to promote entrepreneurship among the rural youths, this MOU has been signed by Ministry of Rural Development with Indian Institute of Entrepreneurship. This institute is in the Indian Institute of Entrepreneurship, which is located in Guwahati, which is located in Guwahati and it is intended. The objective of this institute is to promote entrepreneurship across the country. It was established in the year 1993 under the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. All right. And who is the Minister of Skill Development? Dr. Dharmendra Pradhan. All right. So why this MOU has been signed? It was already mentioned in the question. This is for promoting entrepreneurship at village level among rural youth. And how they will do this? They will strengthen the startup village entrepreneurship program. Now, what will be the role of this institute in this MOU? So this institute will act as a national resource organization of this program, which is Startup Village Entrepreneurship Program. And it will also provide support to the state rural livelihood missions, okay, which state uh, Startup Village Entrepreneurship Program ko implement karne ka kaam karte. Okay. Now talking about SVEP. So remember, it is a sub-scheme under DAY and RLM. Deen Deyal Antyodha Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission. 
the objective is very clear startup village entrepreneurship which means this uh, this scheme this program is intended towards promoting the entrepreneurship and the startup ecosystem at the village level all right it was launched in the year 2016 by ministry of rural development and very important point this program addresses three major pillars of rural startup which are finances incubation and skill ecosystem okay do you remember these three points also finances incubation and skill ecosystem are the three major areas where this scheme is focused on all right so i hope this news is clear and now let's come back to the question so the question is regarding the institute so that's indian institute of entrepreneurship option a is the correct answer all right so i hope this question is clear moving ahead to question number 5 it says where in india the who global center for traditional medicine will be established india mein kahan pe who global center for traditional medicine establish hoga now remember for this an mou has been signed between ministry of ayush and who basically ministry of ayush ne ek mou sign kiya hai who ke sath that in india this who global center for traditional medicine will be established now where in india it will be established in jamnagar which is in gujarat jamnagar yes jamnagar in gujarat with its interim office at the institute of training and research in ayurveda in gujarat jab tak ki wo establish nahi ho jata tab tak ke liye jo iska office hoga wo kahan pe hoga institute of training and research in ayurveda jo ki kahan pe aa gaya in gujarat mein theek hai now in this uh, in this uh, global center in, in the establishment of this global center The government of India will provide 250 million dollars. 250 million dollar, we will give. And the objective of the center is very clear, guys. As the name suggests, it is a global center for traditional medicine, which means uh, the objective of this, uh, the center would be to harness the potential of the traditional medicine across the world. ठीक है ना? So that is the objective, and it will be the first of its class, only global center for traditional medicine across the across the world, and. the best thing is that it will be established in our country our pyara bharat in gujarat jamnagar all right so therefore the correct answer will be what it will be established in jamnagar option e which is in gujarat so option e is the correct answer and now let's talk about question number 6 which of the following organization has organized a seminar on racial diversity sensitization now i have taken this question because Uh, this is somewhat related to social issues part of your esi syllabus theek okay? hai to spread awareness towards different culture in india and to recommend strategies for strengthening mutual understanding among diverse custom so in such type of question you don't have to go into the details theek okay? hai at all you just have to remember the organization which has launched it the name of the webinar or seminar or the event whatever it is and the objective all right that is more than enough so remember it has been organized by national commission for women ncw which is headed by uh, rekha sharma rekha sharma is the chairperson of uh, national commission for women and the objective of this seminar is what this is for spreading awareness towards different cultures in india that is already mentioned in the question here you have to remember one additional thing that it was organized in collaboration with three different agencies Number one is Bureau of Police Research and Development. Number two, National Commission for Minorities, and number three, Special Police Unit for Northeastern Region of Delhi Police. Okay, so these three organization you should also remember in this case. While in other cases, जहाँ पे ज़रूरत नहीं है detail में जाने की, there is no need to go into the details. All right, do remember this. So therefore, the correct answer will be what option E, National Commission for Women. It has been organized by option E, National Commission for women so i hope this question is also clear now let's talk about question number 7 very straight forward question yahi question aayega agar paper mein aaya to bilkul as it is yahi se utha ke tumhare exam mein aa jayega up to which month the pradhan mantri garib kalyan anna yojana has been extended by the union cabinet so it is once again extended isko fir se extend kar diya gaya hai and government is distributing a lot of food items under this particular scheme pradhan mantri garib kalyan गरीब कल्याण अन्न योजना राइट एंड नाउ इट हैज बीन एक्सटेंडेड टिल सितंबर 2022 ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर मूविंग अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 8 विद व्हिच कंट्री 
This is also a very direct question and one marker question is with which country government of India has agreed for program of scientific and technical cooperation. Which si country ke saath India ne, government of India has agreement kiya hai in the area of scientific and technical cooperation. So this country remember is Oman and this was done because recently Oman ke foreign minister India aaye the. Tab ki agreement signed hua tha. And of course Oman's capital is Muscat. Option A is the correct answer. Question number nine. Atal Innovation Mission Niti Aayog has announced its collaboration with the Indo-German Development Cooperation Project, which is named as Her and Now. Do remember this project, very, very important. Her and Now. It was commissioned by the Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development of Germany. And the question is which Indian ministry is implementing the project along with the German company JIS. So you have to remember the name of this ministry. Which ministry is implementing this project in India? So this is Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, which is headed by Dr. Dharmendra Pradhan. Option C is the correct answer. And now let's talk about the last question for today. As per India Energy Outlook 2021, published by the International Energy Agency. Now, can you tell me where are the headquarters of International Energy Agency? Write down in the comments. What is India's ranking in primary energy consumption in the world? Now, this is not a new outlook. This was launched, first pehle launch ho gaya. but we are talking about this because recently iske upar bhoat zyada jor diya tha hamari taraf se parliament mein uh, ministry of new and renewable energy dwara. So that is why we are talking about this. And in this particular energy outlook, India's rank was third. Option C. Okay. India ki rank itni thi, third thi. And we are discussing it because again a, a reply was submitted in parliament and in that reply the emphasis was on this India Energy Outlook 2021. So option C, third is the correct answer. So guys, that's it for today's session. And if you want to prepare for RBI Baby 2022, and there are, as you know, there are a huge number of vacancies. So for that, we are out with a crash course. So you can enroll this crash course through our website or through this beautiful app which you can download from the Google Play Store. All right. Here in this app, you can get the daily GKN quizzes, the live sessions, the topper strategies, mock tests, everything you can get at one place. All right. And if you want to ask anything related to examination, you can also follow me here. And to get the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram uh, channel. Just link you can find in the description. All right. So, I will see you in the next session. Uh, Goodbye, take care and God bless.